Hey, it's Josh Reimer, and I'm here with my boyfriend Heath in Whitehorse in the Yukon, which is, of course, the capital of this territory. And we're going to bring you along with us on our day here. So we stayed at the Inn on the Lake, which is actually about a 35 minute drive outside of Whitehorse. So really gave us a chance to be sort of in a bit more of the wilderness of the Yukon. And it's very rustic and quaint. Uh, it's actually gay owned and operated. So we could totally feel comfortable there as a gay couple staying there. And check out the views and the deck on this place. Amazing. They also have canoes, kayaks and bicycles that you can use. And they're right on a huge lake. Go figure, they're called Inn on the Lake. But then we went into town to go on a tour with Who, What, Where Tours. Uh, they have a few different tours available, but we did their Whitehorse City Surrounds Tour so we could learn more about the city of Whitehorse and the area surrounding it. We got to hear about the history, the industry, the culture, and just take in so much of this amazing nature. I mean, this is the Yukon, right? This is like Canada's wilderness. It was so nice. And our driver was born and raised in the Yukon, so we definitely got a great local perspective on it and just got to learn a lot more about the city and its surroundings. Before going for lunch at Antoinette's in downtown Whitehorse, this restaurant, believe it or not, is owned by a woman named Antoinette. Go figure. She's from the island of Tobago and now has this restaurant in Whitehorse where she's got some international food with Caribbean fusion. That's a float. It's sort of a donut-y consistency and just pure deliciousness. As was all the food here, it's sort of traditional authentic ingredients with interesting cultural recipes, which just makes for a very yummy lunch. And then we went to the Fireweed Community Market to spend the afternoon there checking out all the stuff for sale in Shipyards Park. Their mission is to promote the production and consumption of Yukon products. So they of course have a big focus on supporting local entrepreneurs and small businesses in the area. And like with all farmers markets, they're a way to connect us consumers with these local producers that have all kinds of quality stuff and some of it very tasty as well. But we didn't want to ruin our appetites because we were going back to the Inn on the Lake for dinner. Every day at 7 p.m. they have a three course chef's choice dining menu at their lodge family table. And to infuse Northern flavors into their dishes, they use as many local ingredients as possible. So you sit with other guests from all over the world, but they've had people like Canada's Governor General, singer songwriter Jan Arden, and even a gay couple from Out TV, <laughs> among others. And that was our day in Whitehorse. Thanks for watching and follow me on Instagram to see photos from our trips as well. Bye.